Hi guys, Matt here with Drive Tech. Back again with another video for you guys. And I hope everyone's staying safe in this uh, current epidemic we're having. So today, a big parcel just came in. And you can see right here is the Party Box 300 by JBL. So I've been looking at this speaker for quite some time now. And I finally got this uh, at a pretty good deal at the Lazada birthday sale. So I'll leave a link in the description below for this so you can know where to purchase it. Of course, when you buy a JBL speaker, you want to buy from uh, an authorized store, a store like maybe JBL themselves, or maybe a store like ViewNet. As you know, JBL has a lot of counterfeits out there in the market, and you definitely want to get only the original. Of course, when you're paying almost 2,000 ringgit for this. All right, so as you can see, it's a very big box, so I will quickly go through the unboxing. But before we go through all of that, please do subscribe to this channel for content just like this. I'll be producing more videos than usual because I have to technically stay at home. So before we open this box up, let's go through the features of the Party Box 300. It's a pretty massive speaker and I've actually tested it out at a store and I was very impressed by the sound quality. So right here on the front of the box, you can actually see a couple of features. So let me go through with you. So first, you have JBL signature sound. Then you have a light show, which is basically like any other party speaker where they have uh, flashing lights and uh, probably RGB lights in the, on the front of the speaker itself. And then you have mic and guitar inputs, which is uh, pretty good. If you're doing like maybe a live band or something, you can actually use the mic and guitar inputs. So you have wireless Bluetooth streaming. And you can also pair two Party Box 300s together if you have enough budget to spend on two units I mean it's almost going to cost you a price of a home theater sound system okay this speaker also has a play time of 18 hours which is very impressive and as you probably already know this speaker actually produces the maximum output when it's plugged in to an AC outlet similar to what Harman Kardon does because they are technically both the same company so just like my Harman Kardon Onyx Studio 3 when you plug it into AC it gives a full wattage but when it's on battery it like sort of cuts it down to preserve battery life that's how it gets the 18 hours playback time so let's get right to the unboxing and so guys i'm back i actually had to take this off camera because it was just too big to unbox on this table and i can really feel my table like kind of bending from the weight of this speaker but anyway let's just go through the speaker real quick so you have two main drivers here which are the woofers as well and then you have three tweeters and then you have the lights the strobe lights which are basically just leds at the the four corners and also there's also an rgb ring light on these two woofers right here all right so let's take a look around the speaker okay so on the top here you have a bass boost button volume up and down and also a play and pause button and you have the power on button the bluetooth pairing button and also the light button right here so i would say it's a pretty well designed it's very minimalistic so you can see right here i'm not sure what this slot is probably to slot in an ipad or a phone right here so it's like a stand and then you have a nice uh, carrying handle right here as well so let's take a look at the back of the speaker so you can see there's a big hole for the bass excursion and you also have another ha carrying handle at the bottom okay this is where you'll see the the ports so let me bring the camera closer and give you guys a closer look so right here we have the dc in this is for the secret lighter cable which they provide in the package which i'll be showing you later you also have an ac in usb port where you can plug in a thumb drive or something and just play directly from it which is not bad i should say and it also charges your phone if i'm not mistaken i'll say inputs and outputs i heard the output also can be plugged into a sub I'm not sure about that, but I'll probably try it with my sub later on in the follow-up video. And then you have uh, auxiliary port. You have the left and right channel, so you can actually choose the left and right if you have two party boxes. Then you have the mic in and the guitar in, as well as some uh, volume controls on the top. So at the side, we have a big JBL logo. Of course, it's upside down. And also four rubber stoppers. Okay, on the other side, we have another JBL logo with four rubber stoppers. Inside the box, also we have a couple of uh, AC cables for different regions. And we also have a nice orange cable. This is for your secret lighter port. If you do want to plug this into your car, 
and put this speaker in your booth. This is the cable for it. Alright guys, so let's get into the pairing process. So I will power on the speaker for the first time. You can see there's an orange light on the power. And they can hear the M flipping on. Okay, let's wait for it to start up. Okay, you can hear the startup sound. Okay, now let's press the Bluetooth button and I'll turn the speaker around mm. and show you the pairing mm. process. Right, so now the speaker is in pairing mode as you can see from the blue flashing lights. As you can see on my device right here, JBL Party Box is listed at the bottom, so let's press on it. So now it's pairing. Mm. Okay, it's paired. So right here you can see now the lights have changed to another color because it's really paired with my device. So let me show you the modes of the lights so you can press the button you can see the light key changes so basically this is the first mode the second mode which is a steady changing LED color and then the third one this one I, I believe it follows the base of the music so we will try that out later right so now for the sound test I'll be actually changing out my mic and using my zoom H1 I have right here so it's been a long time I haven't used this mic but this mic is actually basically very good for sound test okay so guys let's start the track by NCS right here at 75% uh, volume so I'll be cycling through the light modes as well as bass boost So you can see guys, the speaker is really really loud and that's not even plugged into AC. If I plug into AC, it would be even louder but I don't really have a plug point right here. This speaker has been really really impressive. I should say that the features, especially the ports behind and also the bass boost feature is really on point. Even at loud volumes, it doesn't even distort. The travels are slightly more ear piercing than I would have liked but I guess you can tweak that in the EQ settings. However, this is not... Um, compatible with JBL's uh, Connect app, I guess they call it, the JBL app. By the way, this has been a very quick unboxing and uh, sound test of the JBL Party Box 300. If you do have any questions, leave them in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also like this video. So I'm leaving the links in the description below so you can purchase one if you're interested. So that's all for this video. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.